Saturday, April 7th, saw the Housing is a Human Right march through the centre of Dublin, uh, when about 3,000 people took to the streets to demand action on the housing crisis. There are currently about 10,000 people in emergency accommodation, and it's estimated that about 3,700 of them are children. This is in a city that is seeing yet another housing bubble as both rents and house prices go shooting through the roof once more. That means the majority of the population, those who are either renting or who are paying mortgages uh, on the basis of buying a house any time after the year 2000, are paying a very large share of their income in rent. At the same time, it's estimated that as many as 300,000 homes are lying vacant around the country. Some are inclined to view this situation as illustrative of government incompetence, but I think a more accurate way of looking at it is that the Fine Gael government are doing exactly what the landlords and property speculators who funded their election wanted them to do. What is important to those interests is not that people have housing, but that profits can be made. The demands of the organisers included, one, the housing and homelessness situation be declared an emergency, two, an end to economic evictions, no loss of principal residency due to economic distress, three, regulation of the private rented sector, security of tenure and rent certainty, greater enforcement and inspection, limit rent rises to a link such as the Consumer Price Index, public-led provision of student accommodation, a charter of housing rights for all renters in the private sector, including students. One of the features of the new property boom in Dublin is the vast amount of very, very expensive uh, student accommodation being built all over the central city region. A couple of years back, Dublin saw its largest organised eviction when the large squatted complex at Grange Gorman was evicted. This was to make space for just one such student accommodation block, about 270 units in all being rented at a cost of 250 to 300 euros per week. These rents are obviously out of the reach of many students and basically these apartment blocks are aimed at wealthy students in Ireland and internationally moving to Ireland to study. The demands of the campaign continued. Four, a local authority led emergency response to the housing crisis addressing the issue of vacant units including the use of compulsory purchase orders and the refurbishment of existing units to meet public housing targets. Five, Public policy should aim to increase the output of public housing to an annual rate of 10,000 units per year by late 2018, early 2019, at an estimated cost of 1.8 billion per annum. At least three quarters of these must be provided by local authorities. The long list of demands, we're at point 0.5 or 15 here, uh, for the March probably reflects who it had mobilised. Uh, when you view the footage, but also the still photographs, the march was quite a successful networking mobilisation of NGOs, trade unions and left political parties that are active around the housing crisis. That's very much the sort of people who actually turned out on the day. The much greater challenge would be to mobilise everybody who's severely impacted by the housing crisis in Dublin at the moment. It's probably quite a reasonable estimate to say that if they all came out on the streets, you'd probably be looking at at, at least a couple of hundred thousand people. And that couple of hundred thousand may be a low ball estimate. How many young people are stuck at home because they can't afford to move out? 
how many workers are paying a third or more of their weekly income in rent. How many Irish travellers are stuck in substandard accommodation while the local councils refuse to spend the money they've been allocated to build better accommodation? How many home owners in reality owe hundreds of thousands to a bank and are facing mortgage repayments that they really can't afford to make? No more people, no justice. 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 Continuing with the demands. 6. Additional capital expenditure of 1,150 million in 2018, on top of 2017's planned 655 million provided from the fiscal space available for 2018, and additional tax measures such as the fast tracking of the vacant site levy and by borrowing. Join the protest, join the fight! Housing is a human right! Join the protest, join the fight! Housing is a human right! Join the protest, join the fight! Housing is a human right! We are here! We are here, let's We don't want your vultures here! Push by nothing, let us We don't want your vultures here! Housing is a right! Not a privilege! 7. An integrated strategy of well-planned mixed income housing provided by the local authorities on publicly owned land. 8. Redirect the billions spent on subsidising private landlords to the provision of public housing while continuing and improving necessary rent assistance. One of the biggest scandals in the long term around the housing crisis has been the huge diversion of public funds to private landlords through rent subsidies when those same funds could have been used to build public housing on public land and provide quality, low-cost accommodation to many of the people who need it in the city. Returning to the points, point nine. The development of a cost rental model as a matter of urgency, adoption and adaption of NEOI's March 2017 proposals for a European cost rental model. 10. Land zoned for housing that is owned by local authorities should be used primarily to provide public housing by local authorities, instead of being made available to private developers. 11. Decent pay and working conditions in the construction sector aiming for the use of unionised and direct labour. 12. Full expenditure of improved funding for traveller accommodation. 13. Socially inclusive and energy efficient standards for public housing. 14. An end now to emergency provision for families in bed and breakfast accommodation and the provision for them of suitable public housing, improved and expanded hostel accommodation for homeless people on the street. 15. Steps taken to inscribe the right to housing in the Constitution. Those set of demands are very obviously a set of coalition demands where different groups were bringing their own specific viewpoints on policy to the table. A little unwieldy overall. One fairly significant controversy that erupted ahead of the demonstration was when the Irish Labour Party were included in this coalition. Uh, the Labour Party were of course in power during austerity and were very much part of the setup that ensured ordinary people in Ireland bared the full costs of the bank bailout rather than any of it whatsoever being passed on to the European and particular French and German property funds that had invested in Ireland because there were super profits to be made here and were then unwilling to take the costs when there was a super crash. But as you've just seen, on the day the actual turnout from the Labour Party was small, much smaller than any of the far-left parties and of course Sinn Féin. 
in its current manifestation, the Irish Labour Party is a bit of a zombie party. It lost most of its members during the crash, many of them to the Social Democrats, and now seems to be composed of politicians and their immediate families and relatives. Only Labour youth seems to have any ability to get people on the streets, and even then it's only a handful. The Labour Party's continued relevance is only really in the institutional power it's developed over the years, and in particular in relation to the trade union movement uh, through being able to place people in careers in the trade union bureaucracy. That pretty much means if you want to try and get the unions on board, you also have to include the Labour Party, despite the fact that they don't really have any base anymore. Saturday's march should be seen as part of an ongoing process of trying to build a housing coalition that could mobilise real numbers onto the streets and do something about the quite catastrophic uh, conditions of housing in Dublin and elsewhere in Ireland at this time. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 